This conference will now be recorded. OK, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is customizing production. OK, so the topics that we are going to cover, we will see how to create a new order type, how to define a new order type, how to define the order type dependent parameters, then how to assign the number assignment for the production orders, then defining the scheduling parameters for the scheduling activity, then availability check parameters, defining availability check parameters, then defining the print control parameters settings, then confirmation parameters, defining confirmation parameters, and then single screen entry configuration. Okay, we have that CO11 and right, so how that CO11 and screen can be configured, we will see that. And then uh, production scheduling profile settings. Okay, so these are the ones we will cover. These are the these are the topics we will be covering today. Okay, so basically, uh, if you recollect our uh, production execution classes, this is the production execution flow we discussed from end to end. Okay, so I'll I'll just show you again. I'll just explain you again. When you run MRP, system will generate a planned order. Then that planned order is converted to production order. First step is production order creation. Okay, after that order is created, we do the material availability check. Okay, after the material availability check, there will be a capacity availability check. Of course, this is not mandatory option. Machine availability check, nothing but capacity planning. We discussed the capacity planning also. Once all the materials are available, we go for order release. Production order release. After that, production order printing. We discussed this also, printing of production orders. Then the material staging, nothing but goods issue. Goods issue. So once the materials are issued by the, uh, the materials required for the production, once those are issued by the warehouse, they will do the actual production, physical production, manufacturing activity. Once it is done, you do the confirmation, production order confirmation. This also we discussed extensively. Then after that, uh, there will be a WAP determination. This is a finance activity. And then finally, we will do the GR, goods receipt. Okay, so from order creation to the goods receipt. And after that, of course, these are all finance activities, variance calculation, order settlement, and order deletion or closure. These are uh, finance act activities, controlling activities. Okay. So now to execute this flow, this flow end to end. So what is the backend configuration required that we need to we'll be discussing today? Okay. So basically, uh, if you recollect, whenever we create an order, we use an order type. Try to recollect our production order classes. Okay. So whenever you create an order, suppose let me go to the system. Let's say I have this product. Okay. Let's say I have this product, finished product. Okay. This is the finished product I have, Coke bottle, one liter. So to produce this, we need to create an order. So when we are creating an order, we use the order type. Suppose let's say if I if I go to CO0, production order create. You enter the material, plant, enter the product, plant, and we used order type. So to create a production order, order type is mandated okay so we used sometimes pp01 so if you go inside so this is the order type basically this order type will control everything this order type will control the production order process in this production order type order type you will maintain all the settings you will maintain all the settings so now we will see that configuration okay so let me go to the wait. So first I'll first configuration is you need to define an order type. You need to define a production order type. So what we will do, we will create a new production order type. Okay, so first go to SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Okay. Scroll down, go to production. Okay, here once you go to production, here you have shaft floor control. Open this. Okay, uh, so here master data. Open this order. 
open this define order types okay so here if you go you have already the order types okay you if you want to create a new order type you can create a new order type okay so what i will do i'll just create a new order type fresh order type i will select the you can do two things either you just click on new entries enter everything from scratch that you can do or another method is you take the existing one you take the existing order type and using that you just copy okay so suppose let's say you have already pp0 select it click on this button copy as so you can do both either of them either just start from scratch or take the existing one copy and then create a new one so what i will do i'll just take the existing one and i will copy copy as so i'll put it as zp01 